Good day everyone! Today we're gonna feature Aldi's Sterling coffee machine. This bad boy over here. Ready? The minimum price that you can get with a coffee machine is around 250 bucks. So it's really just at the bottom of the shopping list. So when Aldi announced that they're gonna have this um, special Sterling coffee machine, so just around 150 we thought it's a win. So, yeah. I think all this furniture is not too bad. We have this for quite some time, maybe just um, a month, over a month already. And we've been enjoying it so far. Later I will take you how to make a coffee and some things that I like and I don't like with this coffee machine. And just to give you a background, I am not a uh, certified by the Ristra. I don't have a uh, certificate, but I learned making coffee through experience. But that was years ago, like two years or a year, over a year maybe. So let's see if I can still make coffee. All right, to start with, we have the two buttons over here, the power button and this one is for the hot water or the steam. And you can twist this right or left. You'll get an espresso if you turn it here, and hot water and steam if you turn it here. And it will go out from here. The um, steam and hot water should not be touching that, but I'll wash my hands, okay? And this is where the espresso will go out later. So let's try. Let's turn this on, and you will hear that sound. It sounds crazy. The first time I pressed it on, I got scared. And also, at the back of the machine, there is um, the, I'm not sure what to call this, I don't read the manual because that's the right thing to do, no. That's what we always do. So this is where you put the water. There's a, um, a level there of max water that can get, get put, and then minimum water. This is how you put water. Open and then why can't flip it? Flip it like that. Then there we go. All right. So and uh, there's one thing that you need to pay attention with this one. Um, let me just take this out. So see that round thingy there? That one. You should put this properly. Cause there's like a, a round thing over here also. So you should put it properly. It should fit properly. And if not, if it's loose, it's gonna make a really bad noise. A scary one. So do it right. So we have here the um what do we call this? That's the thing, you should read the manual so we know what to what to call that. Anyway, uh, the, um, this is for the coffee, um, double shot, bigger one, and single shot for all the singles, and for all those taken, har har. And we have this uh, beaker, aluminum beaker, and we have ground coffee. Brown already, it's not the beans because this doesn't have bean grinder. And we are choosing the almond milk because it's lactose free, um, gluten free. I think it's gluten free. I think all almond are gluten free. Comment below, I'm not sure. Low cholesterol, really healthy. Um, the taste is different, but it's all right. As long as it doesn't give me gastric issue, um, my tummy is very sensitive. So, I can tolerate almond milk a bit. All are these from Aldi. Yay! Because Aldi is just our, at our neighborhood, so all good. For this video, we are gonna use the double shot because we like it nice and strong. Just put it here. It should fit. Why is this giving me trouble? And here we go. Boom! That's it. Ow! God. All right. Next, we're gonna put some coffee here. So, if you notice, I think this is very clever. 
like uh, this one uh, the end of the uh, scoop it, it is used for um, um, trying to put the coffee beans even okay so that if it is not even it's gonna spill all over here So here is your coffee, coffee ground coffee over here. Let's make it even. There we go. Yeah, nice and even. And thanks to this little bubble. All right. So we're gonna put it here. I'll show you. So if you could notice, there's a um, unlocked image here and over here is the locked one. So put it on this side, the unlocked side and then lock it there, nice and firm. And now we are ready for the espresso, I'll turn it on first. So you, so you notice that I turn it on. So what I've observed with this, and one of the things that I don't like is that at first I didn't know that it will go on and on. I was waiting for it to stop, and then at the long run, I have a long black. So with this machine, we need to turn it off manually. But anyway, here's our espresso. So next is we are going to warm my milk. So I'm quite nervous with this one. This is the uh, hard part of doing coffee. Water, um, milk we go. The thing with milk is that it should be done properly. Like soy and almond. They are a bit tricky because they heat up easily and then you don't want to burn your milk and all right the thing with here also is that if I will turn this on to get some steam for my milk I have to wait for a few seconds so turning it on and I'm gonna wait Let's see how many seconds tick tock tick tock tick tock There goes the same. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. The sound is really nice. Uh, so I guess I kind of enjoyed a lot the sound of the milk and Nice. So in a nutshell, this machine is really good. I think easy, it's obvious, straightforward. 
and yeah it's good to use when you're just at home chilling over the weekend and on the other hand the drawback of this machine is that if I would want some espresso and or steam the meal I have to wait for a few seconds I think it's longer than I should but yeah it, sometimes it annoys me also with the espresso like I hope it would stop at the right time because I have to rely on my own judgment if it's a good espresso already or not and also this one this little bobby over here I wish it's longer so that it's easy for me to warm the milk so guys i hope you enjoy your review today so just to clarify this is a point of view of a consumer not a pro stay tuned for other product reviews